Hey folks, welcome back to Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2 Survival on Beefnopolis Gaming. I am Alex Beefnaw. Okay, let me show you what I what I did here. I, I went a little nuts off camera. So we have in the uh, the stonemasons slash glazers shop, we have a, uh, a lava works now. And boy, do we ever have a lava works. We've got the three crucibles going here. But wait a minute, where's all the lava going? I'm glad you asked. That's going into these tanks right here. And as those tanks get filled up, uh, I grab them as needed and carry them over to the smeltery, the uh, smithy, where we have a setup of. Oh, no, close, close. We have this setup. The uh, tank is now feeding lava into the seared tank. Oh, yeah, I also kind of went a little less with the smeltery itself. Yeah, and you know, as one does. So it's now full of full of fuel. I'm, I'm gonna keep this just for shiggles. Alright, so we've, we've moved some stuff around. We have an anvil here now. Legit. Of course. Um, got here. Um, um. Okay, it's already. It's already. Uh, what else did we do? What else did we do? Oh, right. Uh, the whole thing that we're going to be working on today is back here we have the power plant sort of uh, this is Chateaubriand City's first power plant right now it's one sterling generator and for now I have the alloy smelter here because I cannot make um, conduit until I get some of this stuff and um what 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 are you cooking? Oh right, uh, cooking redstone does a thing. Well, give me the thing, then. Let's just get this over with. Just give me the thing, thank you. And there's some neat stuff you can do with that. That's what mod is that? Quantum flux. But we're not going to worry about that right this minute. Let's go put the crystals away. And I'm going to need some conduit binder. I've already dug out where the conduit needs to go and the shop that it's actually going to has not quite been built yet. Um, it's it's that dirt outline right over there. But I'm gonna at least run the cable and move the alloy smelter over there because that's gonna be the metal works. That's where we're gonna have the auto hammer and the auto sieve and uh, all that stuff. So how, how do conduit binder? Let's see. Conduit binder, Con binder composite. Okay, it's two sand, six gravel, and a clay. We can do that. Actually, let's just do it right in here. Oh, okay. So yes, we are getting our first power plant. This is exciting times. Yeah, that's going to be perfect because I need, here, give give this to sand. And this makes a buttload of binder, of uh, that uh, conduit stuff, conduit binder. You know, stuff, that stuff, you know. It makes a, it makes a lot of it, yeah. All right. I think each piece of binder composite makes like eight binders. Get! Shoot! Get away! Stupid crickets. I hate those things. Oh, a uh, random ass seared bricks. Do we need to make the smeltery any bigger? No. We don't. Are we going to make the smeltery bigger? What the hell do you think? Huh. <laughs> hell yeah, we're going to make the smeltery bigger. Oh, hey. I can make it even bigger. Well, I mean, no, but you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm doing. Oh, shiz, Nat. Um, can't go there. Um, uh, uh, do I have any dirt? No. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just put it where we can reach it. We'll, we'll deal with it later. What's, what's good in here? A little bit of blood. Yeah, um, each one of these gives you two, two of those. Let's 
go ahead and put these on. Ah, oh, geez, that ought to be enough. Not quite, but actually that might be enough to get us hooked up. It just might. No, no, I don't need you. I need you. 32. I think that'll be enough. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Yes, right here on the cold. No, I'm not. I'm going in the storeroom. Actually, no, what? My, my apartment is right here. I don't need to. I don't need to sleep on the cold smithy floor in the rain. No, I've got my nice warm bed right here. Ah, <sighs> that's better. No, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I, how get a. Oh, good, the rain stopped. Let's jump over the desk here like a wild animal. All right. So as I said, I already have a little uh, thing cut out here. Son, you can't get up there. Come on. Come over here. Good boy. Thank you. Oh, goodness. That's a good boy. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do... Give me a pick. Give me that. Okay. Oh, shizzle. Um... Okay. Yeah, I've already carved all this out so that... Oh, crap. No, no, no. Just plug. Plug and pray. Alright, and just lead it on back. Lead it on back. Lead it on back. Where's the... There it is. There we go. All right, we're hooked up. Hup. And let's uh, put this back. All right, give me the alloy smelter. Oh, there's my pick. <laughs> so for right now, I'm going to be putting capacitor banks down along here. And then sterling generators and culinary generators and other such things on top with the chests feeding them, but, okay, we need something, um, we need something, oh, you know what else I need? Any more conduit? Yeah, buddy. Okay. That should do it, okay. Okay. Hup. And doop. All right. And we'll just uh, plop the LS melter right here on the dirt. Okay, now I need something to burn. Um, let's see, I don't want to really sacrifice a rubber tree at this point. Oaks, 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 oaks. Nah, I don't really feel like cutting down a mega tree right now. Sha! Jeez! Get away, get away, get away. Oh my god. Oh, Enderbro. Hey. I need your pearl, dude. I need, I need some of your pearls. Because I'm gonna need item con- uh, Really? I'm gonna need item- There he is! Buddy. Hey. Hey, Enderbro. I need your pearls. Ah. I I need I need pearls. I need them for for item conduits. <sighs> oh well. Well, we don't need them right this minute, do we? Nah. All right. Where where's the one that I was cutting down? Did I actually finish it? before I got lit up? I don't think I did. But I can't find it now, so whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna cook this first. 
Actually, there's enough juice left in the alloy smelter to do the thing, right? Yeah, there's enough juice left in the alloy smelter to do the thing. So let's let the alloy smelter do the thing. Okay. And a couple more. Yeah, I am going to need item conduits for the uh, to feed the culinary generator. Because they won't pull directly out. Let me make sure the culinary generator is a thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh yeah, it is. But yeah, it, it, it's been my experience. Now this might have changed, but it's been my experience that it, it doesn't pull. It doesn't grab from a chest. So, but fortunately the Ender I.O. crap will. Alright, so it's feeding that capacitor bank. But yeah, at each, each structure is going to have its own capacitor bank. And, uh, okay, it, it's going straight to the, to the smelter. So once the smelter fills up, it ought to start filling up the capacitor bank, right? I have no good food on me. I have a spider eye. I don't want to eat a spider eye. That's disgusting. Let's go get some food. Let's see. I got some, uh, oh yeah some salmon. Let's put these gibbs away. I'll go cook this in the... Uh... Here, give me that. And we, of course, we need to make a, a, a restaurant. We need to make a, a chow, chow house. We need to make a pub is what we need to do. I think once we get the uh, the metal works up, then we'll start working on you know pubs and other stuff. We'll start that. That's going to get us start getting us into the uh, industrial age here. I, but yeah, the pub, um, housing we're working on, an armory we could use, critter farms. I've got some cows in safari nets. I just need a uh, to uh, eke out a place to put them. There we go. I probably didn't need to eat both of those. But I ate both of those. Okay. You're full. Ah, buddy. Alright. And eventually we might get to a point where everybody has their own solar panel. But, uh... I'm also going to show you here. This, um... Outfit here... This is where the redneck reactors are going to go. The redneck reactors being clusters of mechanism heat generators. And I'll show you some of those in just a sec here. I've got some, I've got a couple of them squirreled away. Hey, hey, all right. But uh, you take those and you pour lava on them and they generate power. And it's actually, if you get a cluster of eight of them, I'm, you, you've seen in Karma, you've seen in um, way back in Yogg's Complete. I mean, I was running all my power with redneck reactors. And they're, they're the best. They're the absolute best because they're maintenance free. You just pour lava over them and off they go. And it, it, it's great. It's wonderful. Oh, okay. Did I... Oh, I didn't file them. Okay. Let's put that up. Okay. So, that done. Uh, how do we... Let's do the auto... Auto hammer. Hammerer. <laughs> Automatic hammer, that's what it's called. Alright, piston, invar, an anvil, pressure plate. So this is going to be a butt ton of iron. How much iron? I have a butt ton of iron. I have just a butt ton. Okay. Yes, that, that is a very precise unit of measurement. One 
Imperial Standard Sterling Butt Ton. Uh, problem is, I need Invar. Or Dark Steel. How do you get Dark Steel? I know you can get it in the in the thingy. Oops, ow, screw that noise. <laughs> screw all that. I should have some ferrous. Broken nickel ore. Zinc, aluminum. I know I got ferrous. I found some ferrous down in the Or was that in, um... Oh, hell, I think that was in bucket list. Never mind. Um... Okay, so I need, uh, I need Invar. And for that, I need ferrous. Right, right. But, I mean, I can at least make... The, uh... The pressure plate. Oh, snap. I don't have any more redstone. I can get redstone, but it's going to take some time. I can also get ferrous, but it's going to take some time. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to beat the hell out of a bunch of cobble and run it through the sifter. And you don't want to watch that. So uh, I'm going to go do some work. And I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Uh, because if this thing goes up, uh, it, this is a nuclear monster. If it explodes, I don't want him anywhere near town. Oh, sh Really? A blizz?